my name is Cass, uh, Cass McClellan. I uh, decided to build um, a snow crawler. This is uh, primarily based on Cave God's original design of a sand crawler. I, for the most part, supplemented the brown for the uh, uh, for white and included uh, an interior. Um, it was a lot of fun. I had I had to make some modifications um, to kind of get some of the looks I wanted and some substitutions, but I think it came out really well. What inspired the snow crawler idea, kind of making it all white then? Yeah. <laughs> so I really like Hoth, and uh, I really like the sand crawler. So it was, what if Hoth had a sand crawler? So yeah, a couple of the other little additions. Um, there's like a snow plow. <laughs> that was a, came across a probe droid. And then one of the Jawas is carrying in a fresh supply of parts. And there's a medical droid who's been reprogrammed as a, basically a chop shop. And then they kind of do process some of the parts in there. And then because Jawas kind of like running little markets, we have a guy down up front who's running a lemonade stand. There's a couple uh, J-Fulls down here, some Jawa fan of Legos playing with a a uh, mini um, cave got, uh, sorry, <laughs> Wampa Cave. It's got a little Wampa and Luke in there. These Jawas were able to catch a, womp, a Wampa and, um, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, a couple of their buddies are hoping to get an opportunity to bust them out. They're hiding back there, looking uh, when they could kind of raid the group. <laughs> few droids for sale and that's my sig fig down there doing a little shopping yeah if you ever have a chance to buy a droid I would <laughs> take advantage um, we have four rebel troops with three modes of transportation so this guy's pretty desperate to buy a speeder and or he'll be walking home and then um, yeah then there's a little baby sand crawler chained up <laughs> wait until he grows up to be a big sand crawler someday I love all the fun details like that. And so you mentioned the interior. You've got some lights in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the I was able to get a cube light that lights up the inside of the cabin pretty well. And then the main compartment's lit up by a uh, aftermarket light set. And then um, the dim lights down below kind of giving like a basement look to it or the lights that you would find in a Lego uh, power function set. Is the panel, do the panels come off at all or can you, can you open up the inside at all? Yeah, yeah, um, the top part is detailed. Um, there you go. I'll take out the cube light here. And there would be two or three Jawas in there to normally. And then um, the center has a lid that also comes off where there's just uh, batteries and motors and the such. In uh, Cave God's original design, he had the wheels powered as well. And that was just a, uh, that was a place I didn't want to go. <laughs> I was happy just powering the front lift gate and, uh, and the lights and everything. I think it makes a really nice display. Now, Lego has made a lot of pieces in white over the years, but with this many different ones, were there any that were difficult to find for the build? Yes, uh, for sure. Like, one thing that was kind of nice about the white in hindsight was because I was kind of going for a, uh, a utility ship here, uh, it was okay if they were... Um, discolored, you know, yellowed and dirty. It kind of helped add to the look. There were a few substitutions that I couldn't make because those parts didn't exist in white, like uh, barrels and uh, crossbows, uh, wagon wheels. Um, there was only one part I had a really hard time with, and it was it only appeared in like one um, like Belleville set. <laughs> like, like There's always those one weird off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Uh, yeah, for that one, I got, I had to make some changes, but uh, for the most part, it was a great design, and um, if I did anything, I just kind of reinforced some areas and added more detail from the original, so he did a really good job. I think the original piece count was 13,000 pieces, and I'm sure I'm over 14, especially with all the little add-ons going on around, and thank goodness Lego came out with the white base plates just in time. I, was, I just got those a few weeks ago. 
Works perfect, but it's a really nice twist on a very recognizable Star Wars vehicle. So do you have any plans to do this with kind of other things from the Star Wars universe at all? Ooh. Um, maybe not specifically Star Wars, but when I do see sets sometimes, I picture them uh, in different themes or uh, um, different color schemes. I imagine like the large Star uh, the large Jurassic Park buildable T-Rex and maybe like a friend's color scheme. Uh, I took Boone's antique fire engine and I did it in a monster fighters theme so I kind of I'm in a kick right now of just kind of reimagining what existing sets look like and then playing with the, the colors or the skins yeah that's a great idea thank you so much for taking us through the build here appreciate it yeah thank you for your time